Hey, how's it going? I just wanted to show you the setup that I'm using. This is my GH5 here, and I just have an HDMI, and I'm using the uh, Camlink 4K. And so, um, one great thing about the GH5 is it has a full-size HDMI cable, so it just runs straight on into the computer over there. And so, I just wanted to show you my kind of my setup there, that it is a GH5 running through an HDMI cable straight into the computer and then into Unreal Engine. So now I'm going to jump over into Unreal Engine and show you how you can do this real-time compositing. Hey, how's it going? And I'm going to show you how to do real-time compositing. I'm going to just show you how to set it up. I've already done a video on how to composite a video on top of CGI background. So this explains everything in here. The only difference is in how you set up the camera. So I'm just going to go over that part of it. And then once you've got that part up, everything else is the same. I'm going to jump into Unreal Engine here and I'm just going to create a, a blank project and I'm going to call it Camlink 5.6. And this is a blueprint, no starter content or ray tracing. I got to tell you that this process was incredibly frustrating because I had everything set up and it simply was not working and I was I'll show you what I had to do to get it to work and honestly it was feels like just by the grace of God that <laughs> I got it working so like I said I already did a video on how to do the compositing so that this is the only part that would be different and it's just in setting up the video camera and I want to I'm going to show you the problem I had and then I'll show you how I fixed it this won't take very long you right click and you go to media and then before you set up image media source, but we're not going to do that because we're not using previously shot green screen footage. We're just going to be basically streaming in the data from our camera. So you go to the media player here and you click this and you go, okay. And then what you do is you double click here. And I, as I mentioned, I have the cam link up and running. So it says no media right now, right? I go to video. There's the cam link. I click it. It should come on. It doesn't come on. And this was a major WTF situation here. I lit I don't want to tell you how long I spent working on it, but there was some cussing going on. I I'll be honest with you. I did a lot of research on the internet. One thing I did was I went to the output log and I kept getting this error. And this didn't really help me when I followed the threads on that either. What I eventually found to resolve the issue was, and I honestly don't know why this works, but it works and that's all I care about is I'll minimize this for a second. You go into File, oops, Edit, Project Settings, and you come down here under Platform, Platforms Window, because I have a Windows PC. I have a Panasonic GH5. I mean, that's my go-to camera. That's my main camera. And so I was frustrated because, it, you know, it's not working. But anyway, you go into Windows, and it says default RHI, and it's set by default to DirectX 12. You just change this to default, and you go restart. And I'll save select it. I'm just going to restart it. Just takes a minute. We'll come back in, and it takes us back to where we left off. Now, if I double click on here, and then I'll go back, and I'll say it says no media again. I'm going to double click here, video, cam link 4, and there's my footage. That's what's streaming in. I mean, I wish I had a more exciting set, but I would have my, I would have my blue screen set up or my green screen set up and then be filming that. But I'd be able to shoot it in real time versus the static footage like a previously shot. So this is how you would set up your camera to do real time compositing versus you know you previously shot the footage so this would be a situation where you're just kind of on the go but this once you got this part set up it's the same basic process from here so anyway i hope you found this helpful take care i'll experiment more with this setup and if i have any updates i'll be sure to post an updated video thank you for watching and i hope you found this helpful